into game number one here. Carnage and Dugong, Battle of the Princesses. Uh, so that is going to be super duper fun. Look at these two. I really know how this matchup goes, but I imagine Peach probably wins it. Not a lot of floaty characters are actually any good in this game, but uh, Peach probably the best one to be honest. Either Peach or Sora. And Carnage, the advantage state, going strong already. Looking for uh, just a way to kind of get a little bit of damage on the ball. But there you go, the desync there. Really, really good stuff from, uh, from Dugong to kind of mess up what Carnage or where Carnage thought Dugong was going to be. Although the damage, the damage just simply isn't enough. We need to say a longer advantage state from Dugong if they are to contest with Carnage's infamous at this point, infamous advantage state that has kind of kept them at the number one here in Milton Keynes for so, so long. Yeah, there you go, the up B there and the float into the forward air is going to catch Dugong, take that first stock. But the, oh, okay. I oh my God, that's a dot eyes and that's already 50%. 56, Carnage set to lap Dugong so quickly. You cannot challenge Peach when they have that shield. And I might have to go play my losers set very, very soon. Which is unfortunate because, uh, well, I want to see the rest of this set. But I'll quite keep commentating until I'm dragged away. Because this set is, uh, is set to be very, very good. Dugong has been keeping Carnage in the corner. Not going to capitalize on that whiff though with a back air or anything. The second turret is going to catch the Nair with no tech, but Dugong is going to make it back to the ledge. The get up attack is ill fated, but uh, now it's Carnage off. Oh. Okay, Luma comes back. And keeping Carnage in the corner, another lovely desync. Looking for those out smashes. Looking for that way to just kill Carnage right now. But Carnage playing a very good job at just kind of not getting hit. Uh, oh, bringing back the Luma at the wrong time. And now the Luma is gone. Oh no, that is a jab at a shield instead of the up smash that Google probably wanted. It's just a matter of like, Luma or Rosa has a few set kill options. Uh, and a couple of confirms that they really need to get. And if you're not getting them, then your opponent is probably going to live for a while. Oh my gosh, there. Lovely recatch. They're going to do a nice 36%. And just. Carnage just like playing super patient, putting hitboxes where they think they're going to dash in, guessing right a lot of the time just because the experience is there. But, uh, oh, a lovely down smash. Oh, trying to get the, uh, the tech chase there with the desync. That is absolutely beautiful. But it's the Peach Bomber that's going to send Luma back off stage. With no Luma, it is going to be a struggle, most likely, for Dugong to get back into the uh, into the advantage state. Oh, my word. Wow, really lovely call out on the double jump. And almost getting in with the forward air. That was so, so good from Dugong. Oh, the Luma not paying attention was Carnage. Really, really good stuff. And the counter surely should get punished, but only with a dash attack. Uh, could have seen a lot more there. But, uh, okay, yeah, trying to get those up smashes. But Carnage is not going to buy it, finding their way through. And, oh, wow, the Luma saving them from the kind of poor up B. Almost certainly accidental there from Dugong. Ah, there you go. Luma does not come back in time. That is going to be game one to Carnage. Okay, so I'm back. I did not have to go play my set in the end, which would be lovely for the YouTube video. But either way, we now have game two here on Battlefield. Probably a stage that Rosalina appreciates more. Easier to land, uh, especially versus Peach's juggling tools. There was a time where I thought Peach would appreciate the, uh, the ability to land because Rosa's juggling was so, so strong. And it's still got it is Up air is still very good, but... It isn't what it used to be, let's just say that. And uh, both of these two scrapping, trying to get the down air on the air dodge there, but up smash being punished by up smash. Dugong keeping it a lot closer and actually like continuing the advantage state, which is so, so hard to do against a player as good as Carnage. Brilliant tech there. And the up B is going to hit it, but the down smash is going to take just a bit too long. And that is going to be the first stock gone for Dugong. 
One rising aerial later, and we see the percents are completely evened up. These up smashes this time are working really, really well. But, uh, oh my gosh, Carnage doing 60% and up just one interaction. So, so good. Oh, that's going to be a, a forward air. No, not quite. Too floaty and too light is Rosalina. Not going to get hit by the confirm. And again, we see Dugong kind of in the advantage state. Uh, kind of just not respecting this Luma at all. Which is just really, really interesting because, like, you'd think that's something that you need to do in this matchup. But Carnage is so confident in the advantage state that they're just, like, running around Luma and going, like, well, I don't even care anymore. But they really should because, like, I mean, okay, they are defeating Luma now, but Dugong has managed to make it all the way back solely from the damage that Luma has given them. But a poor Luma uh, toss their uh, neutral B. I don't know what it's called. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, the wave dash. I don't even know what that was, but it converted to up smash. Dugong keeping this a lot closer than I think many of us have expected. The forward throw, not going to quite do it, but keeping that Luma on the ledge, ready for when Carnage gets up. The neutral get up is there, but it's not going to get caught. Again, trying to just fish for the up smash there. Carnage is all over it. Recognizes the situation really, really well. Oh, that's surely going to be a shield break. If something else lands on that shield for Dugong. Yeah, just trying to catch him out of the air with a forward air, but it's not really working. The dash attack is not going to be it. Down air. Oh, wow. Okay. The uh, side hitbox of down air is going to take it. 70% on uh, on Dugong right now. Is the two frame going to hit it? No. Not going to get the get up attack on that either. Somehow you've got to find your way against uh, off ledge versus carnage. Always a difficult choice. Or is this something difficult to do? I'm trying to get Luma up there. Mix it up a little bit. Luma protecting. Hitting the Luma. Going to get the up smash out of shield. But again, it's just not enough. Like we need to... <laughs> With <laughs> Smar is uh, Smar is attempting to distract me, dear viewers, and it's not going to work because this commentary is going to be even better, even better than his. Oh, there you go. Gonna get a nice uh, 69%. Only 3% from the forward air. Look at these parries, though. Not gonna get anything because the spacing from Dugong is just so so good. Definitely knows their stuff about Rosalina. Oh, wow! Really good way, and the, just the sheer size of that forward air is going to mean that you're able to punish the Peach Bomber, which very few characters are going to do. Carnage in the uh, in the disadvantage here, but no. The down air from Dugong, I don't rate it. And there you go, there is the Nair. That is going to be set 2-0 to Carnage. Very, very well played from them, uh, colleagues. And yeah, just...